Mic check 212, mic check 212. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back with another episode of Drinks and Combos, baby. We are back. We are back in effect uh, with episode seven. This is episode seven. I know you're going to be looking uh, at, at the videos, noticing that we jumped from five to seven, but we had some technical difficulty so we just gonna go ahead and push past and go to episode seven okay so here we are episode seven i know the background looks a little different you know what i'm saying we pulled up on our friends here at fantasy drink lounge shout out to fantasy drink lounge for blessing us with the spot for a couple of hours to be able to record uh they are black owned here in cincinnati and clifton you know what i'm saying you can pull up uh have a drink and uh invest your your, your black dollars back into the neighborhood you feel me so, <clears throat> without further ado, we have a, uh, uh, well, let me get my co-host out the way. Y'all know who he is. We got Killer Cam in the building. Thanks so much for Killer Cam. Yeah. All right. We have a very, very, very special guest today. Uh, me and Cam has talked about it. And uh, we want more of a woman's presence on the podcast to get a different perspective of things. And, uh, yeah, today we finally made that happen. So... Without further ado, we have the beautiful Tay here on the episode with us today. Thank you, Tay, for pulling up on us. Uh, yeah, we're going to get into the episode. I got some topics and stuff for us. But first, make sure you kick back, relax, grab yourself something to drink. It could be alcohol. It doesn't have to be alcohol. It could be tea, juice, water, whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. But if it is alcohol, I ain't mad at you, baby. Do your thing, all right? (laughs) Make sure you drink responsibly and be of age, okay? All right. So we're starting the show off with a shot. Cheers to episode seven. We in here. Got that Delion tequila. Shout out to Puff. Salute. Woo! That is smooth. Nice and smooth, ain't it? Yes. All right. So, Tay. Yes. I, have, I put the post out asking, um, you know, what uh, girls wanted to be on the show. You responded. We appreciate you for responding. What, what made you reach out, you know, and DM us, say, yeah, I want to be on here. You know, I want to um, come Well, talk. I seen the post on the um, Cincy Beauties page. Yes, which yes. Is- Something, a page I've been following for probably a little over a year now. Appreciate it. And I, I really admire how you kind of highlight the beauty that mm-hmm. is with, I mean, hence the name Cincy Beauty. Yes. The beauty that is Cincinnati. We have some very, very gorgeous women out here. Okay. Shouts out to all y'all, <laughs> especially my black sisters. Yes. Yes. <laughs> black queens, for sure. But, um, <clears throat> no, I feel like it's a good um, opportunity to kind of get my name out there, let you guys know who I am, and also give you guys the woman's perspective on whatever we'll be talking about today. So, mm-hmm, for sure. Because, oh, trust me, I got opinions, all right? <laughs> I love to talk. I love it. I love it. That's what we need. We need we need sides, different sides, different perspectives to all the stories. Yeah, we definitely needed that. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, we got some special guests that just walked in, big sisters walked in, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So tell you what you got going on. Like, uh, I had you know asked some questions over our DMs. You said you was trying to get into singing. Nothing yeah. really brand wise yet. As far as like business wise, right now, no, nothing mm-hmm. right now. Right. That is subject to change, though. For sure. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But um, yes, as far as singing music, I I do a little. I dabble a little bit in um, writing music. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually have a studio session book tomorrow. Okay. Uh, somebody so. asked me to come feature on their song. Okay. And I was like, really? You like me that much? All right. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? But, what's um, up? Yeah, I kind of do singing. I do. I actually do a little bit of rapping too. Okay. Then. But that one, voice. I'm a little bit more nervous on. Like, mm-hmm. I gotta kind of build up the courage for that one. But yeah, no the doubt. The singing, I feel like I got that. Okay, for so. sure. For sure. <laughs> So, do you have like any uh, EPs or singles yet, or no? Um, working on that? Not yet. Okay. But I am working on. It. That's what I what I mean by like kind of putting my my foot in the door mm-hmm. with it. So, just beginning, but it's definitely a lot to come. So, keep an ear out, eye out, all that. <laughs> okay, for sure, for sure. Yes, make sure y'all stay tuned. Um, uh, while I'm saying that, make sure y'all follow her at 
Google, yeah. The lovely Tatiana. The lovely Tatiana on IG. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I will have that uh, on the screen. But again, make sure you follow us as well, Drinking Convos, on all platforms. Um, continue to share the videos as y'all been doing. We really, really, really appreciate that. Turning nothing into something, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all. But uh, yeah, so that's what's up. You got your, you got your music going. Um, business wise still thinking about it still planning it out yep. for sure it seemed like um i was i ain't gonna lie i was on your instagram trying to do a little stalking <laughs> to see what you was about you know so i could kind of uh come up with some questions to ask you uh i think were you in a music video no it wasn't a okay. well i'm not too sure if it was a music video, it was probably more of a, a snippet to the song release. Uh -huh. um, shout out to Big Lotion. What's up? Uh, to Big Lotion Entertainer. Make sure y'all follow him on Instagram. Um, he does a lot of skits. Mm -hmm. uh, also, he has TikTok, so follow him on there, too. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, he just needed, like, some people to kind of turn up the energy in the room mm -hmm. to, you know, add to his his music because he makes music. Okay. Um, the actual person, his name is Adam Brown. Okay. Um, but he goes by the Big Lotion, the entertainer. So shout out to Big Lotion. You know, get you, gotta out. get you on the show, fam. <laughs> yeah, shout out to him. You be pressing it though. He be cutting on. <laughs> but all right. Uh, yeah. So that's what's up. So to get into our first topic, uh, which is a great segue from um, uh, kind of what you just said. Did you did you see the versus battle between Ashanti and I did. Chicago? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. I personally wasn't a big fan. Um, I feel like Ashanti, or not Ashanti, uh, Keisha could have came a lot harder. Mm -hmm. I felt like she was talking a lot over yeah. where she should have been singing. And the, the whole thing with um, OT Genesis <laughs> popping in. That was hilarious. Making his little weak. cameo. I'm like, yeah. man, didn't y'all just. <laughs> yeah, they had that little mind. beef. Uh, I thought it was, you're right. It could have been better, uh, especially compared to like the previous ones. Yeah. And then, you know, they came, like, super late. It was about an hour or something late. Did you see it? Did you watch it? Yeah, no, no I didn't watch it at all. An hour late. They were about two hours late. Yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty, pretty late. Um, they both showed up looking good, though. You know, both ladies looked That's it sure. mighty beautiful. Um, yeah, I think, I think Keisha's problem was uh, she kept complaining that she couldn't hear her music. So I, I think that was kind of causing her to, like, talk um, instead of singing, like you said, because yeah. she couldn't really hear herself. And I know they was complaining about that. I think, too, like, when it comes to the women's, uh, like, versus battle, they should do a, a, definitely do a better job like they do for the guys. You know what I'm saying? I think it should be a good balance there. Yeah, I, I think I can agree with you on that. I feel like the women get a little bit more nervous when they have to be on camera, and do which they shouldn't because they're celebrities. This is something they've been doing for a while. You know what I'm saying? They got to yeah. perform on stage, so it shouldn't be hard to do it behind the camera. Um, no disrespect to any of the, either of them. They, I feel like they just could have done a little bit better like, mm -hmm. compared true. to the other versus battles. It could have been true. a lot better. I mean, this is Ashanti and Keisha freaking Cole. That's okay, facts. they legends in the game. Mm -hmm. They gotta come hard <laughs> with it. They, you know, we gotta be That's entertained. Y'all are entertainers. We y'all gotta keep us hype. Yeah, I, I feel like the whole little uh setup should have been better too. Yeah, like I feel like they were sitting down. For too long when they should have been standing up. Keisha did it a little bit. She was trying to stand up and dance, kind of hype up, you know, the energy, but it just wasn't working. Especially after coming, you know, an hour and a half late. That don't make it no better. <laughs> yeah, if you were shot too low, he'd be a little bit shady, though. You said what? She'd been a little bit shady. I, I feel like it they was both was, too. Keisha had mentioned, and uh, Shanti was like, oh, I got mine, though. I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, Shanti said a little bit about uh, them vocals. The vocals she let uh, J Lo use as well. She she said a little something about J Lo too, so you know. Is she? Yeah. I think I missed that part. Yeah, I, I peeped. I peeped. Might have to go back and look. <laughs> it, it was a little little catty going, little catty stuff going on, but uh, overall, I feel like it could have been better. The whole production wise. As yeah, well. it was just off. Like, like I said, the per the performances could have been better. The presentation mm -hmm. could have been better. Timing. They definitely yeah. gotta work on the timing. You gotta have time management skills, especially when it's something that was already uh, anticipated upon. Mm -hmm. Like we was already waiting, what, three extra weeks for them to do it, and then that they too. finally come yeah. on, and it's just like, 
where's the hype? Where, where, that too. That's where's very the true. energy? Like, we, we need the vocals, we need the everything. Mm-hmm. Come on, y'all gotta come back. Like, I ain't watch it, but they got way too many hits that I. I used to hear my mom sing in the car. Yeah. Way too much for them to to not come with it. <laughs> yeah. For sure. That's facts. That's facts. I was definitely jamming, feeling like I was back in '01. You know what I'm saying? A little kid listening to my mama play some Ashanti. And, I had no business listening you know? to Foolish when I was eight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we we all did, but we we heard it at some point for sure. Who would you say won? That's so crazy. I was just about to ask that same question. <laughs> um, Ashanti. I ain't Shanti. gonna lie to you. I think yeah. Shanti. I feel like she came with the energy, mm-hmm. even though it was it could have been better. I feel like uh, Keisha, um, personally, I'm not trying to pit two women against each other, yeah, but for sure, for I sure. feel like vocally, yeah. Keisha is better, a little bit better. That's, I can see that. Um, you know, especially live performances mm-hmm. like that. So I feel like she should have washed Ashanti, girl. <laughs> I feel that. But Ashanti got her. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I, she did. I went into it <clears throat> as Ashanti as my favorite. Just because that's the li- that's the music I listened to when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Because my mom and stuff. So I went into that as Ashanti, uh, as an Ashanti fan. I think Ashanti won though too at the end of the day too. I think she, I think she got that one. That. But you, well, <laughs> he ain't watch it. But I mean, if you if you had to pick Keisha Cole or Ashanti, who would you? Ashanti. Now, don't be saying that just because we saying that. <laughs> now, I got my own personal reasons okay. why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. For sure. For sure. It was, good. It, was good. it was It was solid overall. It could have been better. Keisha Cole definitely came into the battle lit. I don't know what she had in her cup, but I want some. <laughs> I, I want whatever she had in her cup. She was having a good time. I'm going to say nothing, but I know what a drunk auntie looked like when I see one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was off of something for sure. She was definitely having a good time before she got there. The versus battle, though, it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about celebrating both persons' uh, music, you know, at the end of the day. Right. So, they're both winners. They're both winners. Yes. <laughs> they're both, both winners, winners both at the end black. of the day. Um, who Who is the person that you would want to see, though, like in the future, a versus battle? Versus battle? Like your dream um, versus. Oh, my God, that's a hard question. I seen um, the shade room had asked the same question, and I seen a lot of people saying um, Fantasia versus somebody else. Who did they say? Oh, they said uh, uh, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson, and yeah, I actually I would that. love to see that. I really would, cause they yeah. both. Get, oh my God, they they <laughs> blow it out the park every time with every song. I don't That's think true. there's a, a Jennifer Hudson song I don't yeah. like. I don't think there's a Fantasia <laughs> song I don't like. Okay, when I see you, come on. I'm Fantasia, okay? <laughs> I'm Fantasia. I'm in for the sure. room with her, and we, we do it, okay? We doing our thing. That's so, sure. I, I I like that. I think that's that's one I definitely want to see. Yeah, Fantasia and Jennifer Hudson. That's another song. Well, I said another song, another battle that I I got a pick size on. I will go into that battle as a Fantasia supporter. <laughs> Just Fantasia. because, back to my mama again, you feel me? Used to be blasting Fantasia when I was younger. Oh, um, what you think? Jennifer. Jennifer. I, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. A lot of people were saying, though, that uh, Jennifer didn't have as many um, hits as Fantasia. You think that's valid? To be honest, I, I think I would have to agree. Yeah. Because Fantasia, it's just, she just got so much. It's, and then every, you just be like, yeah, this, this it right here. Like, yeah. <laughs> and, okay, with Jennifer Hudson, it's like, it's more so, I feel like she does a lot better um, acting than she does mm. sing. She's a great singer, don't get me yeah. wrong. But she's a pretty good athlete. Her yeah. songs, Actress. as far as like the ones that are presented in her films that she plays in, yeah. hit a lot different than her actual like that's singing facts. song. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. super facts, though. That's, that's very valid. Wow, I didn't even think about it like that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's valid right there. That's valid. Okay, then. <laughs> For sure. That's very valid because I know... He turned uh, Dream Girls home. People were singing their hearts song. out. You feel every me? Every single yeah. song. I tell you, I had to practice that actually for. Um, I remember when I was getting ready to audition for uh, what is it? SPCA. SPCA. Mm-hmm. I was getting ready, and I was. I had to do a Dream Girls song. Oh. For and real. oh my God! Like I was maybe eleven, so I didn't have as 
the vocals that I have now right, when I right. was 11. So that was hard. <laughs> that was very hard. Yeah. It was a lot of pressure on 11 year old me. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's valid. Where did you Where did you end up going? Did, huh? you, did you end up going there or somewhere else? Was I born here? No, I said did you like SCP? Oh, did I perform? No, I never got to make the the, the performance. Oh, okay, okay. I never. I blame my mom. <laughs> it was her fault. It <laughs> wasn't me. She didn't wake me up. She know I be sleeping in. She should have woke me up. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna blame it on mom. It's alright. It's alright. What's uh, what would what would your um, like, I guess dream versus battle would be. I would say for the women, it'd probably be Sade and John, Janet Jackson. Mm. A little, little old school thing. That'd probably do, do oh, more numbers than the, than the Gucci and Jeezy, for real. Yeah, that'd be hard. Sade Gucci? And, I thought they already had one. Yeah, they did. Who y'all think won that one? Yeah, look, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to say, say Gucci. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to say Gucci just because all you heard Jesus say, I tell you what. I tell you what. Like, okay, tell us, uh. Go on, tell us. Man, tell us. <laughs> I, I, I'm torn in between the two because I like Jay-Z, uh, Gucci songs, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a I'm an old soul. So I'm a Jeezy guy as well. So that one was kind of tough for me. I can't I can't really choose sides on that one. I was I was – Rapping, you know, on both sides when they both perform, so I gotta yeah, straddle the fence on that one. Gucci mentioned the dead homie. It was like curtains after that. Yeah, that <laughs> was that's what I was gonna say. That was mad disrespect. Yeah, <laughs> like I was like Gucci, I love you, but die. Yeah, that, was, that was super disrespectful. Like, yeah, he took it far. <laughs> <laughs> he took it far on that one. I don't, I don't think I would have went that far. They they set up was nice though. They was in Magic City, uh, you know, on the on the stripper stage. That was hard. That was some for sure Atlanta stuff right there. That was lit. Why did I not know that? Yeah, they was oh in Magic my God. City. Okay, that just makes it even <laughs> yeah. more intriguing. You okay. ain't peeped the uh, the stripper pole? No, I did not. Yeah, it was it was piped up. I'm gonna take a shot off of that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, we <laughs> we all taking shots together. I'm taking shots with you too. You know what I'm saying? We turned up in this episode. Okay. Oh yeah. Let me know. Right there. Yeah, appreciate you. Can we take another shot? Come on, get you another shot, big fella. It's shot o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. If you at home and watch it right now, make sure you pour up and get a shot. We about to take a shot together. You know, cheers to this uh to this Sunday fun day. You know what I'm saying? Cheers to the people at home. Salute. Yes, it's good right there. Shout out to Puff, Delion Tequila, owned by a black man. All right. <laughs> Let's get into it. Uh, I got notes, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to be professional. I got notes. You know what I'm saying? I'm stepping up my game. Uh, to stay on the music tip, I, that's crazy because I unconsciously, I unconsciously tailored all of these questions to music, knowing that you a singer. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I do this. I'm good <laughs> at my job, y'all. You feel me? All right. So uh, the next question is like, Basically, what what you listening to right now to stay on the music topic? Oh. Who your who your favorite artist right now? My favorite artist? Oh, anybody who knows me will tell you it's Janae all Janae the Aiko. way. I love Sorry. me some Janae Iko. She is literally my lock screen. <laughs> I promise. I I listen to at least three or four of her songs every single day. Like Sorry. I'm I might be a little bit obsessed with. I ain't gonna lie. She can marry me. You know she go that way. <laughs> I'm just saying. But so, just saying. So. Hey Janae. I know, you know, I know you with Big Shine and all, but I mean, I like him too. So we could, me and him could share you. I'm just saying. <laughs> you make an exception, huh? You ain't got to be so selfish. <laughs> you can make but no, an I, I really do love Janae. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like her music inspires me and inspires, uh, inspires my sound, my personal sound. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to say uh, that she is somebody who I aspire to sound like but right. if I were to go if I were to describe my vocal range it would probably be as close to her as possible okay yeah cause, cause that's what I was gonna segue to after you said that who who would you say like your inspiration or definitely her definitely yeah. her Beyonce is a big one mm-hmm. Beyonce is definitely a big one um Really, them too. They really, especially Janae. I'm sorry to keep on saying, but I, I just don't know. She saved my life on some some songs. Like I would listen to, um, during a, a time in my life where you know, uh, depression was present, 
and uh, I would listen to her music and just feel a whole lot better. I would feel more open to kind of fighting through whatever demons I had going on at the time. So to say the least, she her music saved my life. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's very inspirational right there. <laughs> Put a hand together for that one. Very inspirational. That's what's up. Mental health is very, very, yes, very, very important. Very important. Especially in the back community because we don't talk about it enough and we should talk about it. It's very, very important. But that's what's up though. Shout out to Janae Aiko, fine self. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what's up. Janae Aiko, Beyonce. So that's all you listen to? Just that's Janae? not all I, I listen to a variety of music. Yeah, a yeah, big variety. Like, um, if I were to go you genre. Turn on, you turn on some Taylor Swift or something? Or? Okay. See, now you're trying to play. Oh, you um, ain't that way? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just going to say. No, you, I'm just playing. The, um, the wide spectrum of music. No, ain't no wrong with uh, it. I do have a very broad spectrum of music, but mm -hmm. my my biggest um, aspiration would be the R and B category. I love me some art, especially the '90s music. Oh my goodness, y'all just I go skating, put my headphones in, turn on that talk, and just get going. A little tap and Just get going. <laughs> For Can't sure. tell me nothing when that came out. For sure, that's what I like to hear, man. The '90s, that old soul, that yes. old R and B music. What about you, Killer? Same. Same. She's speaking our language right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> on the man, that's like that's every day. Yeah, sure. I don't think I don't think it's a day I don't go without listening to Jodeci or anything. That's fine. Me too. Oh, are you, you listening both. to that freaking you? <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> All of it. All of it. So me and you both. Me and you both. Oh, All right. What about trap music? I like. Um, what y'all listen to as far as like hip hop? Hip hop? Yeah. Um, I'm an old head, so I'm always listening to the old hip hop. But as far as today, I'm definitely listening to uh, the baby, the baby, uh, little baby. That um, one. Drake, of course. You know, I always got to pop in some Aubrey Graham. <laughs> uh, who else? As far as new, I don't know. I just my my playlist is very bland. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of old stuff really? in my playlist. Yeah. I'm not, <clears throat> like, I like the new stuff, don't get me wrong. Oh, and Meek, I can't forget about Meek. I, I mess Meek with Mill. Meek, for sure. See, that's one of them that I just, I just can't get into. You don't, I don't like know Meek? what it is. He's screaming all the time. Why are you yelling? <laughs> we hear he you. He's screaming on the track. Scream at me. That, it's just like DMX. <laughs> Look, I don't listen to that. <laughs> I ain't really too much, too fond of him either, so. I mean. The, I just feel like the screaming is that's, that's valid. That's valid. The baby to be screaming at his music, too, though. Yeah. Well, I don't think he screams. I think he's just real aggressive. It's a difference. It's a difference. Yeah, it's a difference. Cause y'all heard, y'all heard the uh, song. He got one with Ashanti called yeah. Nasty. One is with Ashanti and Meg Thee Stallion. And um, although it sounds nice, it's very aggressive. Like he be grunting and everything on the track. You just like. Yeah, he got a um. I don't know if I want you to do all of that. Might change my mind. That's the one where she, with that baby sample. Like, baby, baby. Yeah. That's yeah, yep. yeah, that, yep. that's, that's exactly fire. the one. Yeah, that's on fire. I'm yeah, that song's with that real one. aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, no, that's definitely an aggressive song. He got he to gotta relax a little bit. That's very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very aggressive song. Pick up on the head, slam it down. I said, whoa. Yeah, well, them lyrics is, ex is explicit. Uh, who you listening to, though, as far as we're at? Um, Lil Baby is a big right. one. Yeah. Um, Young Dolph. Mm -hmm. uh, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I listen to a lot of, not a lot, but I do. I kind of like the mumble rappers, like Lil Uzi, <laughs> Lil Key. I like them. I don't so. care what nobody say. I know that's not everybody's style these days. Mm -hmm. But me personally, I like music where when I'm driving, I can get hype, be dancing and stuff, <laughs> you know. But the only thing about that music is that you get to a red light and you forget it's red. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, that music gets you a little too hype. So pretty girls love too trap too music. That's what they say. But um, yeah. So Lil Uzi is a big one. I love Uzi. I love him. I love his energy and his music. He always mm -hmm. gets me to the point where I'm just like, I'm ready to dance. I don't care where I'm at. So Uzi, come on. I'm I'm hitting that little shoulder thing that he be doing. <laughs> the little I'm shoulder do roll. <laughs> I'm a, I don't care where I'm at. Be at the library. You gonna hit, you need that shoulder. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. I used to listen to Uzi old stuff. I haven't really gotten to his new stuff for real. Really? Like, um. You haven't heard Eternal Take? I don't, I don't I'm not for sure. Oh my goodness. I I'm gotta get sure. to hit. I like, uh, 
what's his old song? I don't really care. Like that song. And then uh, what's the other one? Uh, nah, I do what I want. When that when I drop, <laughs> niggas was going crazy when that song. Oh, dropped. you talking about that? Uh, that's when I won't. Well, it reminds me of that year, but 2016. Uzi. Yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness. That was 2016 that was, was like one of the best years yeah, for music. Best years of that's, everybody's life. So we no can all cap. agree on that. Yes. yes <laughs> that's, that's a very valid statement right there. 2016 was like the best. Especially the summer. Why you think Drake made uh, what's that one song? Summer Summer 16. Ain't that what it's called? Summer 16, yeah. Yep. Cause he Summer knew. 16, yeah. He the goat. Come on now. Drake the goat. <laughs> so, speaking of uh the baby, have you seen his new music video uh Throat Baby? <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? They do have. a... All I'm going to say is, the city girls don't got to be on every song they talk about <laughs> sex. Dang. Like, I feel like they shouldn't have, I don't yeah. think they should have added them on there. I like the city girls, but them on that, I don't know. That's I do like the baby on there. The original song, I'll I be playing that if yeah. the jug and with that one. That's but right. They should have left the city girls off that one. Man, when, when they part came on, I said, click. They got JT on there <laughs> singing. I said, oh, no. Yeah, that's, oh, no. that's I, I feel like um, that's like a big problem right now. People are getting overused, if that makes sense. You can't put you can't put everybody on a hit record. And it just like I said, it's like always that. for certain subjects. Like Sex. they always associate city girls with. And although I know that's what they broadcast um, as far as like. Um, their branding goes mm -hmm. city girls they talk about sex and money and all this other crap that pretty much every rap artist talk about but I feel like they need to add them into something that that doesn't have to do with that like JT verse on um, that one song with money bag mm -hmm. do you know how many people is like uh, they they bunking that you talking about said something I thought of yes said, yeah. yes that song yeah. and I feel like she came through on that one. And that wasn't all about, or at least it wasn't too much about sex or anything like that. I feel like they need to shed a little more light on something, a different subject when it comes to um, female artists. But then at the same time, um, female artists need to kind of open themselves up to a different subject too. Like right. a lot of them kind of play their part in why they get broadcasted in that certain light. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, Because a lot of people have been saying that about Megan as well. Uh, want her to switch up her flow as far as talking about like sex and um, stuff like that because uh, men can have it very explicit as well. <laughs> I agree. Uh, see, what I feel about Meg, there was I, I don't know, I like the difference between Meg and the city girls, I feel like it's different as far as what just I don't, I don't feel like Meg is that as bad as the city girls. Why do in you a feel sense. That in a sense, in a sense of the way, the way how she come across when she rapping about so it. So the presentation. Yeah, okay. the presentation okay. of it isn't is like it's crazy because I'm like, I don't know. I feel like the city girls try to be too much like Uncle Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they all from Miami, so you know that's that uh that era of music. Oh, I had to think about it. Like, hold on, Meg. No, no, not my, not, not my. I'm not talking about Meg. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Uh. I'm talking about city girls, city girls from Miami. So, you know, I'm pretty sure they heavily influenced by Uncle Luke. How can you not be when you're from uh, Miami? You know, so yeah. But I feel that though, women uh, portraying themselves in a certain light as far as like music. One, I'm like just that. saying, he plays their part into That's why right. female artists are being presented in that way. It's the artist mm -hmm. and it's the industry. Right. So, yeah. But you want to know something I noticed too, though. Who isn't getting as much flack is Mulatto. I love mm. And she talk about the same Mulatto. stuff, That's but true. nobody brings up like Mulatto as much as they bring up Meg Thee Stallion or the City Girls. And I do think it got something to do with her being a lighter yes. skin tone. Yes. I'm, I'm going to that. That's in my notes. That's in my notes, Kelly. That's what I'm talking about. That's the chemistry right there, baby. <laughs> I was going to go into that. Do you think, because uh, you're a brown skin sister, uh -huh. do you think that... Uh, our black queens that high skinned uh get like how can I word this without y'all coming after me in the comments? No, they uh, get privileges. They get certain privileges yeah, that brown yeah, skin girls do. don't. Wait, yeah. Look, they do. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's definitely some colorism mm -hmm. in the industry. It's yeah. definitely it's very prominent too. You know, it shows. 
um, Mulatto, I feel like she does get a lot of, um, or she gets less of the, the, the commentary and the backlash mm-hmm. um, that Meg Thee Stallion gets or City Girls get or who, anybody who raps about sex and drugs and money, anybody. Um, and I feel like she does get that because of her skin tone. You know, she's a, she is a very beautiful woman, but so are the rest of them. Okay. You know, it shouldn't have to be based on um, skin tone. And yeah. her name is a big issue with a lot of people. That's why she's been talking about uh, changing it to Big Lotto instead yeah. of Mulatto. Because yeah. if you go back in history and you look at the term Mulatto, it's, it's a it's, racial it's, slur. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's a racial slur. Yeah. And it was created by white people. Mm-hmm. To describe a lighter, a fair skin, black woman. Yeah, uh, a mixed black woman. Yeah. Yes, and they were always treated better. They were considered the house in word, yeah. and it's just it's it's a big deal. I can definitely see where it plays a part in the industry and um, why she gets a lot better um, coverage than the rest of the girls do. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I, I wouldn't agree with it at all. Right. You know, I'm a brown skin woman. I don't want to be if I ever were to get myself out there, you know, I do music. If I were to ever get myself out there in the game, in the industry, and I'm being discriminated against, uh, whether it be obviously or not obviously, um, because of my skin tone, I would definitely feel the type of way. Yes. Definitely. And I would, I would highlight that. Uh, every, every chance I get, I would highlight it. So, so we can make some type of difference in the industry. Mm-hmm. So, so that's my thoughts on that. Very valid. That's a very valid statement because... Um, the reason I was going to bring that up, too, uh, the next question I had was, did you see um, Danny Leah's uh, Yellow Bone? You know, it was a lot of controversy about that. Uh, her making a song about a, I guess you could say a light-skinned woman. Um, That's a lot what of, Yellow she, Bone is. Yeah. I don't hear saying yeah. <laughs> She got a lot of flack for that. But yeah, she should. Yeah, but I think too, like it was just a trash song though. Like that song was just whack. The song was terrible. Yeah, yeah. It just Come on now, bad. Danny. It it was terrible. Yeah. I hate when she sings like that. It just yeah. girl stop because you know you could do something. Better. Yeah, um, just throw the whole song away. Yeah. The whole song, like. Right. And she should have never even got to the studio. <laughs> but I feel like she knew before she even released even the snippet. I feel like she knew what kind of backlash she would get. So for her to get on the internet and talk about how everybody's being haters, and blah, 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 what are we hating on? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Are you referring to your skin? Are you referring to how you are treated in the industry? Like, I just want to know why you felt that making that the song title and the subject of the song would be a good idea, especially with everything going on with racism and colorism. And it's, it's, it's so, it's being um, highlighted right now. Like we just, not too long, I was just at, um, in DC at the Black Lives Matter March for Breonna Taylor. Okay. Hearing a song like that play around that time, had that been released a little yeah. bit further, back, people would have been giving her a lot more than they're giving her right now. It's very true. I, I don't think that was a good move for her to make. And I, I know she feels um, mm-hmm. like it was an innocent move, but it, it, it does not come off that way at all. Yeah. Especially since she ain't black at the end of the day as well. She's, yeah, she's a Dominican woman. She's not. She shot away. And, and the thing is, though, is with her being Dominican, like, she should know how racist that country is against people of darker skin tone yep. anyway. Right. Because I done came across a whole bunch of Dominicans, and they never say that they black, even though they got dark skin. They be like, "I'm Dominican." You, you <laughs> messing up. You messing up what color you are and your nationality. It don't exactly. make sense. Right. You know what I mean? Like she knew what she was doing. Right. I feel like she probably um, took that and was like, "Oh well, people are always saying Dominicans are black anyway, so let me just go on and since I'm Dominican, I'm allowed to do this and I'm allowed to do that and won't get no backlash for it." But it's like. You are, although you're Dominican, you are a lighter skinned Dominican. So it right. just makes it that much more worse. I think, I think too, it got to to deal with like the label and whoever A and R that project. Because again, at the end of the day, it got to be somebody in her ear. Like, yeah, go ahead and do that. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, I think that's like a big issue too. Nobody's like telling these artists to not do certain moves that they shouldn't be doing. I feel like too. But on the flip side as well, as the artist, you got to be able to stand up for your music and your content, and know when something's wrong and say when it's wrong too. I think as well. So. That's what I. That's what I um, kind of wanted to 
when I was talking about her getting on the internet and calling everybody haters, it's mm-hmm. like if people are backlashing because of the content you put out, it's it's a reason for that. It's people are not coming at you for no reason. Right. With like I said, with everything going on right now, everybody has a right to feel a certain way about a song of such caliber. Mm-hmm. You should not be presenting that type of um, lyricism or whatever. Because even if you listen to the lyrics, you're like, oh, that's what he wants. And hmm. yeah, that's true. black women have for years have been struggling with trying to figure out, um, or no, I won't even say figure out. Cause it's just for a lack of better term. But trying to figure out what the what a black man wants, and a lot of the time, um, in most cases, it's a lighter skinned woman, or at least that's what it's we per- yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what we perceive. So when you when you do songs like that, it highlights that that issue that's already present. Right. So to come back when people backlash, you're supposed to recognize your wrongs and fix them, not come back and be like, oh y'all are haters because. Right. That, that ain't gonna make it no better. That's just making people. Oh, you think that's valid? Worse. You think that was the right thing to do? Okay, right. you're not sorry. All right. Well, we're gonna keep on coming at you until you fix it. As a whole, speaking to the camera as a whole, uh, black community, all that, we gotta do better. You know what I mean? Colorism, um, uh, all that nonsense, man. We j- we in a, such a weird time, um, as far as colorism, racism, all the isms. <laughs> Let's put it like that. All the isms that's going on. Um, in this day and age, man, we gotta come together and uh, fix it. As me and Cam stated on previous videos, we, we, we really, 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 really gotta get this together. And that brings me to my uh, my next artist because um, Cardi B. I was, I was gonna bring up Cardi B, and you know she get away with like saying nigga, and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. But because I know at one time people was giving her a lot of shit for it. Um, but it, it seemed like it, it died, died down. down yeah, bit. it died yeah. down because I I want to say I don't know, but but at the same time, Cardi B doesn't. I don't think she portrays herself as a black woman. I think she keeps that that Latin uh, feel of her very relevant as well. Would you would you would you say? Um, I don't know if I can agree with that. I I in my mind, Cardi B does portray herself as a black woman. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't necessarily comment on whether or not she is i truly don't know the history behind mm-hmm. that i've seen her post some things but never any type of confirmation on whether yeah. she is or isn't um i, I know what her parents look like mm-hmm. they don't her mom don't does look not black. look black to me her right. dad does not look black to me right. but it's the difference between looking and being i'm not sure about the ancestry behind cardi b or her mm-hmm. parents so i can i can't put past any judgment Mm-hmm. on whether or not she should be able to say the n-word or right. make predominantly black um statements or anything mm-hmm. like that um all i can say is that when or if the truth comes to light on whether or not she is a afro latina because a mm-hmm. lot i feel like a lot of afro latina latinas um are just now kind of starting to recognize the afro part of their ancestry and they kind of use that for when they get the backlash for when people are checking them about saying the n-word or appropriating black culture and all of that and for cardi b like i said i can't say too much i really truly don't know so i don't want to pass too much judgment but when the truth does come to light and if she is in the wrong she needs to go ahead and and apologize you know what i'm saying she needs to right her wrongs yeah because i i tried to do some deep diving into like her ancestry, um, I couldn't really find too much as far as evidence of her being black, like a, a black woman. Um, so yeah, you're definitely right. When whenever the truth does come out, she she does need to address that accordingly. What you think? See, I don't know, cause the thing with uh, with Afro Latinas and stuff like that, or just even with Latin and period, cause people say the same stuff about Bruno. Bruno dropped Bruno that. Mars? Yeah, they say the same thing about him when he dropped that album. Like, oh, he trying to, you know, use black music to prop itself, prop itself up. But mm-hmm. it's proven that he is actually black. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't got no, I don't got no problem with it, as long as you, you can't, you know, say like, you know, make black music and and come up off of us. 
and then not speak out. So as long as she's speaking out on injustices that she see, you know what I mean? And like Cardi B does. Let's she be does. clear. She she definitely definitely does. You know, I'm, I don't got no problem with it because we don't know what her grandparents look like or, yeah. or none of that. I mean, they did come from an island, so that has a racist history. So I don't know, but as long as she keep doing what she's doing and speaking out, which I don't think she, I think she will because you know her daughter's black. So Facts. as long as she keep doing that, I don't got no problem with it. That's true. That's true. Because Cardi B is, is definitely vocal. Definitely vocal about the social injustice and all that. She be meeting with the presidents and all yeah, that. She puts Cardi, herself out there. Yeah, she Cardi B does. be out here for sure. Shout out to Cardi B for sure. She definitely be out here. Um, But that's very important though. I want to again reiterate that, man. That uh, all the isms that's going on right now. Um, Not to make jokes of it because I'm laughing. Not to make jokes of it, but, you know, I laugh instead of crying. You feel me? At the end of the day. Um, so yeah, all that has to be addressed. To stay on the uh, like the, I would call it the black fishing. That's what people call it nowadays, black fishing instead of cat fishing, black mm-hmm. fishing. Stay on that subject. Everybody wants to be black until it's time to be black. Um, and we can even talk about a particular family. That's I noticed. Maybe I'm bugging. Y'all can tell me if I'm bugging or not. But a particular family I noticed that's definitely idolized by black women. Um, the Kardashians. I feel like it's, it's too many black women idolizing this white family <laughs> that's black fishing us, that's feeding off of our culture at the end of the day. I mean, Kim is literally putting on mountains of foundation and makeup, whatever that stuff her called. Her never looks the same as her face. Yeah, <laughs> to, make her, to make her appear darker, a, a, a darker skinned woman. You know what I'm saying? And that's obviously a problem that we have to address um, as a black woman, as a brown-skinned sister. When you see something like that, like, you know, like what goes to your head? Cause I see, you know, other black women, like really, like, oh, it's cool. Like, you know oh, what I'm no. saying? It, like it downplaying me, it. It makes me feel a type of way because um, like situations as far as um, hairstyles go, the Kardashians are known to get certain braids and That's then true. call it a certain, call it a different name than what it is. Like they'll get corn rolls and call it rapper roll or whatever, some other little BS. Right. And it's just like, what, what makes y'all think it's okay to take something that we've created mm-hmm. and add your own twist to it and now it's a trend? Our my skin is not a trend. Facts. My culture is not a trend. Facts. Like, don't exploit my culture to 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 push yourself up in the yeah. game. You already mm-hmm. a celebrity, so it's like you don't even need that in that attention. But that's what I think the biggest problem is, is they just want attention. Uh, the Kardashians want attention because that is how they keep them themselves relevant. relevant. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I mean, what what do people know them as being famous for? Besides, like, honest to God, what? Well, oh, we model, okay? The There's sex like tape. A, yeah. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> a sex tape. You know what I'm saying? Kylie, yeah. she's just a model, or her lips is what. And that's another thing, the lips. Black woman lips. For the longest time, she would deny it, deny, mm-hmm. deny. Oh, they're not fake, they're not fake. I just overline my lips. And then come out and be like, oh, I got lip fillers. I don't understand why a lot of non-POCs get lip fillers because we were made fun of for our... I have naturally full lips, okay? Mm-hmm. And as a child, I used to get made fun of for my lips. I used to get made fun of for my big nose. Nowadays, people can get surgery for that, and it's perfectly fine. And I'm just like, well, why did I have to go through those years of mental torture? Mm -hmm. Just for years later, it's a trend. Like I said, my culture and my skin tone Mm -hmm. is not a trend. So I find a lot of the things that they do highly offensive. And I don't like the fact that they, most of the time, don't even know how to defend it. They don't have a defense. All they think is, oh, well... It's the it's the it's the style these days. It's not a style. Y'all are appropriating our culture. That is a huge deal. Mm-hmm. And they made billions off of it too. Though. It's like this is stuff that I have na- that I have naturally, and other black women too have naturally. Why are we not profiting from our natural attributes? Why do they get to profit from things that we can't help? Mm-hmm. They get surgery. And they make millions because they look better, but 
we don't look better. We look normal or we're just, we look threatening to a lot of people. Why do they not look threatening when they go and get surgery and get the exact same thing that we have naturally? That is an issue with me. It's very true. It's valid. It's valid. That's valid. That's valid. That's valid. That's valid. That's why I shout out to Rihanna um, for, you know, Fenty uh, Skincare and Fenty Beauty, a black woman uh, capitalizing off the makeup world and lingerie and all that type of stuff. We got to put them black dollars back into our community, y'all. I mean, look at us. We here at Fantasy Drink Lounge. Again, shout out to y'all. Shout out to my bartender in the back. He jugging right now. It's lit. You know what I'm saying? Fantasy Drink Lounge, man. Make sure you pull up Clifton. Uh, yeah, put your black dollars back into the neighborhood, man, for sure. Very, very, very important. But, uh, yeah, to move on to other matters, um, to lighten the mood, because we got a little deep, you know what I'm saying? But it happens on this episode. Situ- uh, situations and controversies need to be addressed and taken care of appropriately, okay? So, yeah. Well, uh, you know, how you feeling today? <laughs> I'm feeling great. I'm, I'm feeling very, very great. I, I have a lot of stuff going on that um, mm-hmm. I never thought would happen for me. Um, I'm about to go back to school in the summer, taking EMT paramedic courses. Yes, ma'am. It's yes, been a ma'am. long time coming. I've been needing to take my butt back to school, start my up. career, get it going. You know, I'm 24 years old. It's yep. about that time for me to get my career started. Yes, ma'am. We so take a shot today. I'm feeling real good. That's a that's a shot moment. <laughs> it's shot o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. You at home watching? Make sure you you pour up. Get your get your shot glass. We taking a shot right now. Take a shot to that. Shots for Black education. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I I am uh, like I said in previous uh, previous episodes. Everybody know this is my last semester. And I'll be walking across that stage in May. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. Really? Okay, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, we saluting. It's Cam. Cam going to be done in the summertime, ladies and gentlemen. You feel me? This is black educated men right here and educated sisters. You know what I'm saying? So, it's very, very, very important. Get that education, man. You know what I'm saying? Be a sponge. Soak up all the information that you can. You feel me? Be knowledgeable of everything. <laughs> all right. We're taking this shot, man. To black excellence. This shot us to black excellence. Salute. Woo! That diddy juice. That's that diddy juice. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one that's not like affected by it. That's an issue. Hold <laughs> on. They gonna like this drug. Drug. No, not. I really don't drink, y'all. I really do not even drink like that. Nah, this 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 my regular personality. You think I'm lit? No. Oh, oh okay. No. <laughs> I'll be like this all the time. But this this definitely got me feeling good. Again, shout out to Puff Daddy, man. Uh, Black on tequila. Deli on tequila. Make sure you, you pick that up. Thank you, Time. My, my timer back there. Make sure you pick that up, man. Diddy, if you're watching this or anybody from Revolt, the, the Bad Boys family, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we promoting the Black on tequila, but at the same time, we would love a check. We would love a check for promoting it as well. You know what I'm saying? Or some free bottles. We'd take some free bottles as well, too. You know what I'm saying? Ciroc, all that. We'd take it. Uh yeah, but to get back into it, so yeah, get going back to school. Yeah, going back to um, school. Um, I'm trying to step my foot into modeling. Okay, okay. Um, I'm I'm very short though. That's what I'm nervous about. You know, models are known to be a little bit taller, have How a little bit more you? leg. I'm five one. Okay. I'm very tiny. <laughs> Put some heels on. Yeah. Look, with heels, they probably add like maybe three, four inches. That ain't enough. <laughs> you okay. Know at the end of the day, if you got it, you got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Forget that hype stuff. But I mean, you know um, what I'm saying? I have a I have a lot of uh, aspirations on. I I'm one of those people who would like to uh, be a jack of all trades. So I kind of want to dip into everything. I want to dip into modeling, the singing, the rapping. I want to make my own jewelry, handmade. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to school for the paramedic thing because we need more black paramedics. Okay. Yes, we do. <clears throat> yes, we do. There's just a lot that I, I kind of want to dibble and dabble in, but not even just dibble and dabble. I really want to put myself out there to to broaden my spectrum on living my life as best as I can. So I want to make a legacy for myself. You know what I'm saying? I want to I want to make it to where everybody that comes across me is like, I'm so proud of her. She did. Yeah. She worked her way up. 
You know what I'm saying? She put herself out there. Because I'm, I'm a cancer, okay? We live in our shells. <laughs> it's so. very difficult for us to come out of our comfort zone. Mm-hmm. So for even me doing this right now, this is something I've never done. And I, I feel totally comfortable doing it. You know What's what I'm up? saying? Totally comfortable. This, this right here? Yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. We appreciate you, too. You know what I'm saying? So. We appreciate you. Yes, yes, there's yes, a lot ma'am. going on. I feel real good about myself. I feel empowered. That's I feel up. like this is going to be the year that I really Take off. make a name for myself and That's leave everyone around me proud of me. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Hey, that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> our live audience. We got a live audience in the building. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, black education, man, is very important. Uh, as, as you can see as well, three black educated individuals, young individuals right here. We've got some individuals in the background that's also uh, college graduates as well. You know what I'm saying? We have an individual that's behind the camera right now. She's in school getting her degree as well. You feel me? Uh, you know, it's very important. Very, very, very important. Uh, yeah, what else, what else you got going on? You know what I'm saying? I think that's about it. That's about it. I ain't even going to look. I'm not even going to laugh to y'all and act like I'm just the most established person. No, 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 no. That's never the the case. Like I said, I got some some pretty good things happening right now that, Mm. like I said, I did not know would ever happen for me. So I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of every um, opportunity given to me, and I'm Mm. very blessed, and I thank God for that every day. Yeah, for sure. That's what's up. You got any places you plan on traveling soon? Yeah, oh, I'm actually sure. trying to go to Cancun. Great question, Cam. Look at I Cam coming in with Cancun the questions. I need to go to Cancun so bad. I'm trying we to live it up that. in Mexico. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Cancun, that's, that's on your bucket list? That's definitely on my, that's my dream trip. Yeah, Cancun, sure. Mexico. I would love to go there. I just need to get a passport. <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts. That's, uh, that's what we all working on. Well, I got mine, but, you know, my friends are still working on that as well, getting a passport. Um, anywhere else, like in the U.S., you want to travel to, like, um, a Vegas? I'm or? getting ready to go to Tennessee okay. in March. Like a log um, cabin thing? Yeah, just, mm-hmm. just a little girls weekend with me and my homegirls. Okay, then. Okay, then. Um, a little wine to each other's toes. I'm trying to plan a, a little <laughs> Hawaii trip for my mother because she works so hard. Shout out to mom. Shout out to mom. She does. Follow me on Instagram, so shout out to you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I'm just trying to make, I'm, me and my brother are actually trying to set that up for her because uh, she's been through a whole lot. She has a bunch of medical issues that's going on. She has diabetes. Um, it's just a lot going on for her, and I just want to give her that time to relax and mm-hmm. and collect herself. That's what's up. Collect herself so, and, you know, and, and, and let her know that she's loved. Her children love her, and we want to make sure that Mm-hmm. You know, she's proud of us, and let her know that we're proud of her. That's what's up. Look at that. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? <laughs> That's beautiful right there, y'all, for real, man. Love you, Mom. All jokes aside, that's what's up. Take care of your parents, man, because, you know, they for damn sure took care of us. The good ones. Um, you know, I'm speaking for my parents, her parents, you know what I'm saying, counts. Take care of your peoples, man, because one day they will get old, and they will need us. We will. 